Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. I've been selling on eBay since 1999 and on Poshmark since 2016. I had a great overnight sale, so I decided to wrap, do a little wrap with me video. Uh, you could find my channel um, on Poshmark and eBay. You could find my stores at MC Wear for you if you're interested. And I'm just gonna basically show you what sold and how much I bought it, each item for and how much it sold for to give you a general idea. Um, so yes, let's just start. All right, so I'm not going in any particular order. So these Harley Davidson jeans, I'm gonna insert a picture right here. So they sold for $36 and I bought them for five. And I think I, I bought them uh, back in January. So they did sell on Poshmark and I'm going to put them in a priority mail envelope. I have several pairs of Harley jeans listed and it all depends on the style. I mean, they're just bread and butter. Um, meaning, you know, you're not gonna get a lot of money for them because they don't retail for a lot of money. So we're gonna do a priority mail envelope. They're going to Kentucky, and that's that. Any resellers watching, leave your stores below because we can help each other out. I do not mind if you comment your store name. That's fine with me. Okay, so again, priority mail, and we're just gonna toss them on the floor. <laughs> They're not breakable. Okay. So the second item were these Chico's pastel pink. Insert a picture right here. These uh, pink Chico's pull on and go type uh, pants, very springish. And again, I buy the pants. They're $5 at my local Goodwill. They're on their way to Massachusetts. And as you can see, I add a little thank you sticker. I did some prep work, so it won't be terribly long. And some free little unicorn stickers just to make people smile. A lot of people um, use thank you notes, um, little cards, you know, freebies and stuff like that. Um, and that's where the stickers come in. I just think they're cute. And um, if any of these buyers have kids in the house, you know, they're opening their gift and... They could give the stickers to their kids to play with or teens if they have one of those Stanley mugs that they could put them on. So they are going in a white poly because it's ground, not priority mail. I try to ship on eBay mainly ground vintage, which it used to be first class, um, just to give people a little break on shipping because priority mail, as you know, most of you know, <laughs> It's getting a little out of control. So there you have it. And they are on their way to Massachusetts. So next is another Poshmark order going to North Carolina, which is where I am from. And this was a Bally bra size 38 double D and I sold it for $12. I took a best offer because um, Bally is a horrible bra to pick up. Never sale, never sells. But when I first started in 2016, which embarrassingly, I probably had it since then, um, belly bras were popular. So were like Olga, Warner. So they don't really sell anymore. While Cole does, Soma does, Victoria's Secret does. So again, I pick up bras for $2.49 and I did sell it for $12. Normally I sell bras for $20 or $25. But again, like this one, I just want to get my bellies moved out. Otherwise, I would just redonate them and not get anything. So, got a little profit. Keeping in mind, these platforms do take a 20% commission. So, neighbor, North Carolina. All right. Next, we have a, another Poshmark sale. And this is, I will insert this picture. I just picked this up a couple weeks ago, and it's one of those step-in ruby ribbon uh, all-in-one tank bra shapewear. Um, ruby ribbon. I really like ruby ribbon myself. 
but it's sort of like a Spanx assets type of deal. And it is on its way to Montana and it's priority mail. So all as I have here are, I could ship, ship it priority mail. I mean, it's gonna go priority mail, but I have these little bags out already. So I'm just going to go ahead and ship it in there. The label's priority mail, so that's fine. It'll still get there in time. And let's see, I picked it up for $2.49. It was a bra price. And I sold it for $35, so that was good. And there we go. Next was a Zanana. I will insert this picture. It's a, just a little pullover baby doll, um, nude colored baby doll top. And I took an $18 offer. I paid $4.99. And I think I had it listed actually for $25. And I could have probably countered to $20 and they probably would have taken it, but Again, you've got to remember sales usually bring sales. That's how the uh, algorithm works. So if it's first thing in the morning and someone gives you like, not really a low ball offer, a low ball would be under 10. Um, but if someone gives you an offer in the morning and you would like to have it a little bit higher, I usually just take it as long as you're making a profit. Just take it because usually, like I said, sales usually bring sales. So once you take that offer, you end up getting more sales. And so, yeah. And that is going to Georgia, Richland, Georgia. All right. Next is another posh sale. And this is a loft jumpsuit and a size 12. And it's just a black jumpsuit. I took an offer of 34. I had it listed for 40. And it is going to Austin, Texas. So, jumpsuits are iffy. They're not very fun to wrap. I mean, not wrap, they're, they're fine to wrap. They're not very fun to, with no mannequin, take a picture because it's a jumpsuit. You can't really get all the detailing unless it's on a mannequin, there we go. So, or unless you're modeling it. If you model it, then yes. It is a size 12, so it couldn't have been modeled on me. All right. So, again, took that offer. And I think I've been sitting on it for about six months. So, it actually isn't the best buy. Again, Austin, Texas. All right. Next, this got so many watchers. Probably the most watchers I've ever gotten. And it's just a J-Gel. J-Gel. Paisley Blue sleeveless maxi dress it got so many watchers and um i finally i did take an offer for 35 it probably retailed for about 119 um did i say j gel it's a j gel dress j gel is a little on the pricier side um like chico's or elaine fisher stuff like that so i bought it maybe two months ago i think in january actually and I'm just happy someone ended up taking it. Um, I think because the weather is getting warmer everywhere and people are thinking about sleeveless items now. Maxi dresses are great during the summer months. It's going ground, again, that's sold on eBay. It's also going to Texas, Houston, Texas. And there we go. All right, next, this I've had for about a year. Again, like I've said before, Torrid, bad buy. Um, it is a Torrid gray, kind of a baby doll type blouse. And let's give her a couple stickers. I don't, I don't I didn't put stickers in there yet. So let's choose <laughs> those ones. And oh, uh, let's see, I took the offer of 18. As you could see, these were all offers. I don't think anyone outright bought anything. And they used to back in the day, but you know, I like it. I like a good offer. I mean, I like a good, um, a good bargain too. So I get it. People want to, they, they either watch it and that would be on eBay. They click a the little heart and that means they're watching it and they're waiting for an offer or on Poshmark, they click a like, and then they wait for that offer. 
I do use Posher VA, a virtual assistant's assistant. Oops, I got two bags stuck together. Yikes. Oh, goodness. Well, we're going to make it work anyways. Um, and my Posher VA, after 30 minutes, will send a 10% offer. I'm going to have to use tape for that one. And so that's how most things sell, by offers. Just put, tape it up because of the stickiness is gone. And this is going to Arizona. Most of my sales go to California or Texas. Goodness. Make more tape. All right. There we go. Okay. So done. And that other bag will have to get thrown out. All right. So this I'm just going to be showing you. It's going to take a little TLC to wrap and so I won't keep you, but this little Fiesta Wear, vintage Fiesta Wear, cream and sugar. And I will be shipping it in this brown Amazon box. It shipped ground advantage and it, it shipped on uh, eBay or it's it sold on eBay. I picked it up last year for four dollars and it, it sold for 35. It's also going to Texas. And I'm gonna have to really, really wrap it good because if you already have some sort of um, tissue in there, but it's gonna be a lot more. It's gonna to have to really get wrapped. So with breakables, you really have to wrap them good because if they break, eBay and Poshmark will just give the, um, the buyers back a refund and that refund comes from your account. So. If you do not wrap things really good, you are just basically giving the item away. Okay, so two more things. These are what I use for jewelry. And I sold these two little pairs of red earrings. They're going to Warren, Minnesota. And I sold them for $25. It's buy one, get one free on my Poshmark closet. And so I had one pair listed for 20 and one pair listed for 25. And I sent the $25 offer and they accepted it. My jewelry, I usually get in bulk. So I have maybe 25 cents invested. So 25 cents turned into 25 is awesome. So that sold on Posh. I do not sell jewelry on eBay. Okay, so it just goes in there. And the last was a bundle order. And it was a bundle order going to New Jersey. Very sweet lady or girl that I talked to probably on Posh for a good hour last night. And then going back and forth on the price. Here we go. And what she brought was a bundle. And the bundle consisted of green and gold earrings. I will insert a picture of this Michael Kors one piece bamboo swimsuit. And this new with tags, the sack. Usually you get these from Marshalls and it has a retail value. It's the Lola bag, retails for $49. And so what I think I'm gonna do is stuff the bag with the swimsuit and the earrings. And so that came to $125, $125. And we agreed on an $80 offer, which she accepted, $80. So I paid five for the purse, five for the swimsuit. And again, the earrings are nickels and dimes. So let's just say I have $10, $11 invested and I sold it for $80. And I'm going to use this tissue paper to make it look nice. Presentation is always a plus. And that was it. I do just need to finish wrapping off camera my um, Fiesta Wear. I definitely don't want that to get broken. So I appreciate if you are still with me. Thank you trying to get quicker at this. Um, so that's it. That was overnight sales. My goodness. Thank you for watching everybody. And I hope you are having a good sales week yourself. 
Have a nice day. Bye-bye.